Hi, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York, and today I wanted to help give you an understanding of blood pressure. In particular, I wanted to focus on what blood pressure is, what the numbers mean, why we get it, and what we can do about it. Okay, so the first thing to try and understand is what is pressure, because only if we understand what pressure is, will we understand what blood pressure is. So pressure, is, pressure happens when a force is exerted over a certain area. So if you take um, something exerted over a certain area, you're exerting pressure. So physiologically, this can be equated to force divided by area. To increase pressure, you have to either increase force or reduce area. With the heart, and particularly with blood pressure, what we mean is that the force is the amount of blood coming out of the heart with each heartbeat multiplied by the number of heartbeats per minute. And the area is the total area of all our blood vessels, including the big blood vessels, the medium-sized blood vessels, and the very tiny blood vessels, vessels that actually infiltrate our organs and supply our organs with oxygen. So you, if you open all these up, the total area is the area over which this force is being exerted. And <clears throat> so that is, that is what blood pressure means, all right? Now, there are two values that you have to be aware of. There is the systolic blood pressure. So whenever you look at blood pressure, there are two numbers. There's the top number, which is a bigger number, and there's a the bottom number, which is a slightly smaller number. So the top number is the systolic blood pressure. The systolic blood pressure means how much pressure is being exerted when the heart is beating. The diastolic blood pressure, which is the blood pressure at the lower, on the, the lower number, refers to how much pressure is being exerted when the heart is relaxing. So those are those two numbers, all right? Now, in a normal person, what tends to happen is we, our blood vessels tend to be stretchy. So when blood is ejected into our blood vessels, the blood vessels stretch, which means that the force is exerted over a slightly bigger area than if the blood vessels weren't stretchy. And this helps keep the pressure uh, down. As people get older and in certain disease states, what tends to happen is the blood vessels start getting less stretchy. They become more stiff. And therefore, when the blood pumps out, the force is exerted over a smaller area, okay, because the blood vessels aren't stretching. And this is why the blood pressure tends to go up. What are the consequences of having blood pressure? Well, usually, uh, if the blood pressure is not too high, there are no symptoms. All you notice is that these numbers are beginning to go up. But when you see the numbers going up, it is usually a sign that the body is either aging or not happy or not healthy. All right. So when you see blood pressure, you have to try and start working out why that is happening. The problem is this, that although in the short term there are no major issues with moderate elevations in blood pressure, over the long term it can be harmful. And the reason it can be harmful is this, that our very, very tiny blood vessels, the main blood vessels which actually supply our vital organs, tend to be very thin and they tend to be quite fragile. And if they are subject to a very high pressure, uh, they can often burst. And when they burst, they heal by forming clot, okay? So they actually heal by forming clot within them. So the blood vessel actually closes off. And therefore, over a period of time, what can happen is these small blood vessels can get damaged and our vital organs don't get the blood that they need. And this can result in damage to our vital organs. By vital organs, I mean the kidneys, the heart, the eyes, the brain. Um, <clears throat> So over a period of time that can happen and that is that can then lead to problems with our vital organs. Our vital organs start uh, don't function as well. Uh, but also another problem is that obviously if these blood vessels which form part of the area are being damaged and uh, healing by clotting off, then the total area is getting smaller and therefore the pressure will continue to rise. And therefore, then you get into this vicious cycle where the pressure is going up, more damage to the blood vessels, more damage to the vital organs, which means that the area gets smaller and the pressure continues to go up. So it's really important to try and tackle blood pressure when you detect it. And one way of detecting it is monitoring it regularly. So I hope this was useful. And my next video will be on uh, what um, influences blood pressure.
Okay, so keep watching. Thank you so much. All the best.